Hello, everyone, and it is a great pleasure to welcome you to the expansive rolling plains of the Masai Mara. Isn't that a beautiful scene? My name is Scott, as Tristan said, and I'm still teamed up with VM. We've spent two nights out together, but there's been a little twist in the tale. We decided not to spend last night with the coalition of five cheaters called the Musketeers due to the fact that they were successful with making a kill late last night. And we figured that their next kill would probably only be in 24 hours time, which is didn't kind of work for us. We were going to have to we're going to have to be back on the other side of the river closer to camp. So we left them and drove around into an area that we haven't spent much time, haven't spent much time exploring with you. We are kind of midway down the Mara River within the Mara Reserve. So we are on the opposite si side of the river to where our camp is, as well as where James will be exploring today. And we're looking forward to getting to know this area a little bit better. We could possibly bump into Scarface, a massive male lion with some of his ladies. Who knows? There's also two sisters, uh, two cheetah that uh, have been spending time where we're going to be kind of finishing up the drive. So really looking forward to whatever Mother Nature has in store for us. It was quite a tough decision leaving the Cheetah Brothers. Oh, this is quite pretty. Let's just let these wildebeest continue parading down the catwalk for us. Beautiful. So our camp is on that mountain in the background, but probably about 15 kilometers further to the right where VM's pointing the camera now. So a long way from here. And... This area that we're going to be heading into is kind of an area called Paradise Plains. And as the visuals you are getting suggests, it is quite a paradise. Interesting, these wildebeest are kind of heading southeast, away from the river. There has been quite a lot of river crossings dotted all along the Mara River, mainly further north within the reserve. But who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and be able to get you some visuals of a crossing. We do have four river cameras strategically spotted along the river, but maybe we can join forces with those river cams. Of course, the river cams do not have the joy of mobility like we do, and there are many, many crossing points. Oh, I wonder if that one in the middle's brake lights wasn't working because the third one almost crashed into it. They should check that out. Hmm. Only kidding. Oh, hang on. Just spotted two vehicles down to our right, so his VM. What have they got there? It looks like they may just be enjoying Topi, Zebra, Wildebeest. Oh, and some ground hornbills. That explains it. In this very expansive ecosystem, you can rely on just spotting vehicles and then trying to work out what it is that's attracting them. That area over there, sorry, VM is called Rhino Ridge. And sadly, there's not too many rhino that live on that ridge anymore. There must have been a stage when they decided it was quite a nice place, hence the name. But just to give you guys an idea of where we are. Magic, so yeah, we actually drove around until we left the boys at about eight-ish. They came back to their kill after they got spooked by something, chased the hyena off. For those of you who didn't see that, it was really actually cool to witness. And they got to cash in on their hard-won meal. And then we decided to pull the plug on them. And we just came cruising around looking for anything. We were actually hoping to try and find a serval and invest some time in a serval, which is a small cat. But we haven't showcased its hunting prowess very much just yet. The bigger cats have been getting more airtime. 